Welcome back. Today is the last day for the Home and Garden Show, and we have got our favorite Home Depot lady, Debbie Hernandez, right. who's Thank joining you. us here this morning. And you are going to show us how to make a lamp That's out of almost right. anything. I think right now you're going to show us how to start with the base. It's true. You know, you can use anything to make a lamp. You can use a cowboy boot, for example, a wine bottle. We're, we've got a pot here, candlestick, any type of res reservoir you can make into a lamp. If it's an enclosed piece like this glass block or this uh, andiron from our garden area, you need to drill a hole in it or at least in the bottom if it has a hole at the top. So to do that, I have a couple different fun drill bits here that make your job a lot easier. This drill bit here, and I don't know if you could see that really good, this is for drilling holes in glass. So in the wine bottle, glass block, any type of hard material, even granite, this will cut a hole in it. They come in a bunch of different sizes, so you choose the size you need. For example, if you're just doing a regular lamp, you just need a width enough to put your pipe, uh, your lamp pipe in. So it's very simple. For this, you need to start very important on a 45 degree angle. That lets the bit bite into the glass, mm -hmm. and you're going to use it somewhat like a tile saw. It needs to be wet to keep the bit warm, uh, cool and to go into the glass. So we're going to start here on a 45 degree angle. Just pour a little water on there, and then you begin. And then as you go, you just stand straight up, and as you drill, okay. light pressure, not a lot of pressure, it will penetrate through the glass and through the magic of TV. We've got our hole right there. <laughs> and also, I drilled one on the bottom. Now, you've, that we've, perfect. we've done a very nice hole, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not dangerous. You could use some protective eyewear. Do as I say, not as I do. So you're going to uh, then start feeding in your lamp parts. Now, okay. we're going to show that on the next segment at 9.15. I'm doing a class on this at the Home and Garden Show today, okay. as well as decorative paint finishes, transforming your cabinets into a new finish, and a lot of other things. Okay. So, so it sounds like you can mostly use whatever material you're interested in. Again, we're just using this as the example, a yep. glass block. So then it looks like you can put whatever you want inside. Yeah, in this glass block, I have these rocks here from our garden department, and these are meant for whatever purpose. I painted them silver and gold, and these are even uh, could be leftover stuff from the holidays that you want to turn into a lamp, give as a gift, whatever. And I just filled it up. You can use beans, you can use clear marbles, you can use anything, and this really makes a nice lamp. So Very nice. Yeah. yeah, it looks perfect. And now you're going to show us how to put the rest of it all together. That's it. And I just wanted to mention, we didn't call each other this morning. We did not. <laughs> With this our was by chance. <laughs> <laughs> we found that really funny. Okay, to make a lamp, after you get your holes drilled, you're going to start with what's called a lamp pipe. And these come in two pack. So, and this is the long one. But if you want to extend it a little, there's couplings and smaller ones. So you can determine your height however high you want by adding some pipes together. Also, a big part of this project is the make a lamp kit. Everything you need to make a lamp mm. besides the pipe is in this make a lamp kit. And on the back of it is all of the directions step by step with a picture. So you cannot really go awry. It's all right there for you. What Very goes convenient. where? Very convenient. How much would something like this cost? The rod or the kit? The make a typically. lamp kit is about 11 and change. And then this is about $6. So under 20 bucks, you can make a lamp. Okay. And what I wanted to mention also is the base has to be something that is really cool, edgy, special to you somehow. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, after you do add a lot of this stuff up, it can add up to, you know, 30, 40 bucks. And maybe you can go buy a lamp already made for that price, but the premise of this is to grab something that you love or that's special to, to you and make a lamp out of that, and okay. so that makes it all worth it. Um, once you put your uh, holes in whatever base you're using, you're going to uh, thread your lamp post through, and it comes up through the bottom like so, and you've got your hole on the bottom. And then you can silicone around that, so if you put beans or something in that so it doesn't fall out. At the bottom. Okay. And with the glass block, this just so happens that it is raised in the center so that you have a place for your cord to come out. Otherwise, you may have to make a little channel. On this candlestick, you can see the bottom is open, so perfect for a cord to come out of that. And that would make a really decorative lamp. Yeah, that's gorgeous. So after you get your uh, pipe threaded through, you're going to 
thread through your cord, which also comes in the kit, and you get it threaded through up here. And I pull a little extra through just so you can uh, have enough to work with. Split apart the wire just a little bit, and you see you have a copper oh. and gold tip on it. So after this, you just go by the directions of the kit. You're going to put everything through the wires, and it's a lock nut first. And all of this screws on right onto the pipe. And then you put another nut on. And again, this all goes through. You're going to keep these straight very nicely and then twist it onto the pipe. And as you go, again, you follow the directions and you will make a perfect lamp. Then you just put a washer on. And that sits there. Then you have your harp. And this is what holds your light bulb. Okay. So the wires go right through there. And this is a really fun project. You know, you obviously don't plug it in until you're all done, so there's no danger. Right, right. Then you have a lock nut again, and then you have your socket. Now, once you get to your socket, all you're going to do is connect the two wires. And I just want to get this on so we can show you. So you get your two wires ready, and this is your socket base that goes through. and. We are almost done. I mean, we made a lamp in the time it takes to do this segment. That's pretty easy. That is pretty good. This has only been just a couple minutes. I know. Okay, so here on your socket, this is the important part. You've got two screws. This actually has a slip right here that this goes onto. So you just slip it out. It has a cardboard liner to protect from any type of zapping. And then you have your two screws on the side. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a U shape from your wire. And you're okay. going to wrap that around the screws and then tighten. And then this goes on. And then Perfect. your light bulb. And then, and your then shade. you pick your shade. And that's it. Voila. And so it's really, really easy. And we've got some examples. You can make it out of a wine bottle, out of Very a, cool. a garden piece. And everything, it can, you can be as creative as you want Please in the comfort do. of your own home. That's it. Thank you so, so much, Debbie, for showing all of this Thank in this you. super quick segment that I we did. I know. And please come out and see me today at the home show, 12, 1, and 2 o'clock. Perfect. All right. Thank you so Thank much. You. It was great to see you.